So for address A. So again, uh, good morning, everyone. So for this week, we'll be uh, further discussing about sequence, but this time around, more specific, we will be having arithmetic sequence. Okay po. So last time, napag-usapan natin ang sequence. Uh, sabi natin, when we talk about sequence, there are patterns to consider. And there are two kinds of, ano, it can be infinite sequence or finite sequence. But more specifically, there are four major kinds of sequence, which is arithmetic sequence, geometric sequence, harmonic sequence, and Fibonacci sequence. Okay, Bob. So, iisa-isahin natin yan, and we'll be starting with what we call arithmetic sequence. Well, ano ba yung tinatawag nating arithmetic sequence? An arithmetic sequence is a sequence where each succeeding term is obtained by adding a fixed number, the fixed number is called the common difference, which is denoted by D. Okay po. So, yung sequence to, yung pattern niya, ay meron tayong constant number na ina-add sa preceding number in order to get the next number. Just like here in the given, um, we have 2, 5, 8, 11, and 14. Okay po. 2, 5, 8, 11, and 14. Kung mapapansin nyo, going to, two, uh, going to five, ang two ay nadagdaga ng tatlo. We add three. Okay po. Plus three. And from five para maging nine, uh, para maging eight, nag plus three ulit tayo. Eight naging eleven, nag plus three tayo. At eleven to fourteen, nag plus three tayo. Okay? Kung makapansin nyo, this is constant. Pare-pareho ang, ang idinadagdag natin, hindi na babago. Ibig sabihin nito, kung nag a tayo ng pare-parehong number, which is what we call the common difference, in this case, the common difference is 3, it is now called an arithmetic sequence. Okay po, nag a tayo ng isang fixed number, which in this case, we add positive 3. So that's 2 plus 3, that becomes 5. 5 plus 3 becomes 8, 8 plus 3 becomes 11, and 11 plus 3 becomes 14. So our D here is 3, positive 3. Okay po. So uh, maliwanag po ang ibig sabihin ng arithmetic sequence. Anyone? May question po din sa idea? Hello po. Um, example, let's have another example. Yung 1, 2, 3, 4, can we consider this as an arithmetic sequence? Yes, sir. Yes po. Bakit po? Ano po ang common difference nila? 1, sir. Okay, that's correct. Nadagdaga, dinadagdaga natin ng constant number 1 ang bawat term para makuha natin yung kasunod. Katulad ng 1 plus 1, it's 2. 2 plus 1 equals 3. And 3 plus, 4 equal, uh, 3 plus 1 equals 4. So, yung mga susunod nating number, makukuha rin natin by simply adding 1. So, that becomes 4 plus 1, 5. Plus 1, 6. Plus 1, 7. So, ma madudugtungan na natin yon. How about this one? 10, 8, 6, 4. 10, 8, 6, 4. Can we consider that as an arithmetic sequence? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, po. Kung arithmetic sequence natin may tuturing ang 10, 8, 6, 4, ano ang inad natin? Sir, minus po ng 2. Negative 2 po. Yon, hindi po tayo nag-minus ng 2. Nag-add tayo ng negative 2. Okay po. So kasi ang idea ng arithmetic ay adding. Okay po, hindi tayo nagma-minus. So ibig sabihin, in this case, nag-add tayo ng negative, kaya siya pa baba. Mukha siya nagma-minus. Technically, nagma-minus 2 tayo. Pero in a, in, a, in a sequence term, 
hindi tayo nag-minus, kundi nag-add tayo ng negative number, kaya siya pawaba. So kaya po, it's 10 plus negative 2 is 8, plus negative 2, 6, plus negative 2, 4, plus negative, ang 4 plus negative 2, anong sunod dito? Ano magiging sunod ng 4? So po. So, sir. That's 2. That's four. correct. Bakit nga? Bakit nga siya naging 2? Ano nag-add ng, neg nag nag ng negative 2, sir? Okay. Very good. Ay po ha. So, ganun lang po yun. So, kapag arithmetic sequence, nag a tayo. Pag palaki yung number, nag a tayo ng positive number. Pag paliit yung number, nag a tayo ng negative number. Please take note of that. But in arithmetic sequence, it should be constant. Kung nag-add tayo ng positive number, pare-parehong positive number yung add natin. Kung nag-add tayo ng negative number, it should be the same. It should be constant throughout the sequence. Okay? Clear natin to. Okay po. So in here, kung makapansin nyo, we have 2, 8, 14, 20, and 26. So, Para mag, ang 2 ay maging 8, nag plus 6 tayo, nag plus tayo ng positive 6, 8 plus positive 6 is 14, 13 plus positive 6 is 20, plus 6 is 26. So ang D natin ay 6. Ito naman pa baba, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, nag-add tayo. Uh, nag-add tayo ng negative 5. So, negative 5 lang inilalagay natin doon na parang nagmaminus tayo. So, negative 5, negative 5, negative 5, negative 5. So, our common difference is negative 5. And it goes the same way with 2, 6, 10, 14 na para maging uh, 2 ay maging 6, like plus 4 tayo. So, that's plus positive 4. 6 plus 10 is plus positive 4. And 10 plus positive 4 is 14. Okay. Next. So, we have, so ma madaling malaman kung ang mga kasunod. Madaling malaman ang mga kasunod. Pero paano natin malalaman? Example, if you were asked 2, 8, 14, 20, 26. So, alam natin that 2 is the first term, 8 is the second term, 14 is the third term, 20 is the twenty is the fourth term, 26 is the fourth term, uh, fifth term. Paano pag pinahanap sa atin ang, paano po ang tega- what is the 75th term? 75th term. Ibig sabihin pang 75 na number sa ating sequence. So it will take you time. It will take you time kung mamanumanuhin mo yan. Diba? Kung mamanumanuhin natin yan. Ganun din kapag uh, sobrang naka example. 50, 45, 40, 35, 30. What is the 1,000-one term? Ah, isang, libot, isang term daw. So, kapag minano-mano mo yan, medyo matagal yan. So, paano natin mapapadali ang paghanap natin ng term? So, we can use this formula, which is A sub N equals A sub 1 plus the quantity N minus 1 times T. Please take note of this. Kung meron po kayong, uh, um, talito, may sulatan po kayo dyan, pakisulat po. A sub N equals A sub 1 plus the quantity N minus 1 times D. Isa-isahin natin, ano ibig sabihin A sub N? The A sub N is the last term that you are looking for. Yun yung pinakadulong term. Okay po, kaya N term, hindi natin, hindi natin specify kung anong term yung hinahanap natin. Basta siya yung hinahanap natin or dulong term. A sub 1 is the first term. And this is our common difference. And N is pang, pang ilang term yung kailangan natin. Para mas maliwanagan tayo kung anong gagawin natin, let's have this one. Determine the 10th term in a sequence 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay po? 4, 6, 8, 10. So anong hinahanap natin? Based, uh, based a given? Our 10th term po. 10th term. So paano natin isusulan si 10th si term? It will be a sub, hindi na a sub n, kundi a sub 10. Okay? a sub 10. Yung pang 10 term daw ang hinahanap natin. Okay? Next, what is a sub 1? O unang term natin. Sa so given ng 4, 6, 8, 10, ano kaya ang ating pong 
A sub 1 or first term? Four, sir. Four, po. Four, sir. Yeah, correct. It's four. How about N? Ano ba yung N? So, kung makapansin nyo, A sub 10 yung hinanap natin, napaltan ang N ng 10. So, ibig sabihin, yung pang sampung term ang hinahanap natin. So, technically, may sampung term. So, N equals 10. And last one is our common difference, which is D. Tingnan nga natin, ano bang nangyari? 4, 6, 8, 10. Ano ang ating common difference? 2, 2, 2. Positive or negative? Positive po. Positive. Kasi pataas. So, pwede ko na lang siyang isulat as positive 2. Okay. So, lahat ng uh, kailangan natin given ay nakita na natin. At ang hahanapin lang natin ay A sub 10. So, following the formula, kailangan nyo lang sumunod sa formula. So, that is A sub 10 is equals to, what is A sub 1? A sub 1 is 4 plus anong N natin, which is 10, constant na minus 1 yon times 2 which is our common difference. Okay? So, tandaan, PEMDAS tayo. So, unahin ko muna ang parenthesis, kung ano nasa loob ng parenthesis. Okay? So, that's 4 plus 10 minus 1. 9 10 minus po. 1. Okay. 9 po. That's 9. That's correct. Then, times 2. Following the PEMDAS rule, wala naman, na-solve na, na natin ang nasa loob ng parenthesis. Na so, wala tayong exponent. Sunod natin doon ay multiplication. So, ang multiplication natin dyan ay yung dalawang parenthesis na magkatabi. So, that's 9 times 2. 18. 18 that is 18. Okay po, huwag na huwag kakalimutan na may plus sa gitna. Ha? At ito naman, multiplication to. May nakikita akong solution sa inyo. Tinatanggal niyo yung plus. So that is 4 plus 18. 4 plus 18 is 22. So our 22. 10 term is 22. So tingnan nga natin. 4, 6, 8, 10 plus um, 12. 14. Tama? 14, uh, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So tama. Ang pangsampo nating term ay 22. Sabi ko nga, pwede po bang bilangin ko na lang? Pwede naman. Wala naman tayong problema doon. Kaso, tinuturo ko ang formula sa inyo, lalo't lalo na kapag ang hinahanap ay maramihan. Okay po. Let's continue. Any question here? Maliwanag po. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So, clear natin muna to. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. How about this one? Katulad nito. 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19. What is the 50th term? Diyos ko po. Ang laking la dami nun. So, 50th term ang hinahanap natin. So, we have the uh, sequence 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19. Um, I think it's obvious that it is an arithmetic sequence. Ano po? Parang um, arithmetic sequence naman siya. So, hanapin natin ang isa-isa muna itong lahat ng ito para hindi tayo naguguluhan. Huwag tayong sugod ng sugod. So, ano hinahanap natin? A sub? A sub 50. Kasi we're looking up for the 50th term. Okay? So, that is missing. So what is A sub 1 for our first term? One, one sir. One, that is 1. That's correct. How about our... Um, how about our N? Our N is 50. That's 50. Kasi we are talking about A sub 50. A sub N, so ang N natin ay 50. And last one, what is our D? 3, sir. Three po. So, nadagdag, nadadagdagan siya ng 3. So, that is positive 3. So, ilalagay natin dyan as positive 3. So, moving on. So, that will become A sub 50 equals. What is our first term? That is 1 plus the quantity 50 minus. 1 
which is constant, n minus 1, times our d, which is 3. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, that is 1. Unahin natin na sa parenthesis. That is 49 times 3. What is 49 times 3? 147. So that's 27. 147. That's correct. That's 147. Then our a sub 50 will equal to 148. 148. Yeah. 148. Diba ang bilis? Ang bilis lang. So that's 148. Kaysa naman bumilang tayo ng 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, bas hanggang makarating ka sa pang limang po, it will take you time. But using the formula, mabilis lang na ma masasagot natin. Especially kapag sanay na kayo using the formula. Okay? Formula is used to, to for easier solving. Okay po. Iba kasi, burden sa kanila ang may formula. Pero kung malalaman natin ang proper way ng pag paggamit ng formula, mabilis natin mag masasolve ang isang given. Okay? So, I think this is clear. Let's have another one. Okay, how about this one? 82, 63, 44, 25. What is the 12th term? So given here, so check muna natin. Is this an arithmetic sequence? Arithmetic sequence ba siya? Yes, of course. Bakit siya naging arithmetic sequence? Ano ang common difference nila? Negative 19. Negative 19, that's correct. Or tama na sila. Negative 19. So, nadadagdagan siya ng negative 19, kaya nagmumukha siyang palit ng palit. So, inahanap natin ang 12 terms. So, isa-isahin natin. So, that's it. Check nga natin. 82 minus uh, uh, plus negative 19 is 63. That's correct. Minus negative 19, it's 44. Minus neg uh, plus negative 19, it's 25. So, constant naman yung negative 19. So, this is an arithmetic sequence. So, what we are looking for is the 12th term. So, that is A sub 12. What is A sub 1? 82. 82, that's 82. correct. What is N? What is N? 12. That's correct. 12. How about our D? Negative 19. Negative 19. Don't forget to write the negative sign, negative 19. Yung positive pwedeng walang nakasulat, pero yung negative hindi pwedeng mawalan ng negative. Okay? Moving on, that will be A sub 12 will equal to our first term is 82. Tama? 82. Plus 12 minus 1 times negative 19. Okay, negative 19. So it will be 82 plus 12 minus 1, 11. 12 minus 1 is 11. 13. 13. No, 11. 12 minus 1, yan. minus 1. Yan. So that's 11 times negative 19. Okay. So next is 82. We have to multiply this. 11 minus 11 times negative 19. What is 11 times negative 19? Negative 200. Negative 209. Negative 209. So, isa na lang gagamitin ko. Negative 209. Kasi yung positive nito, positive 11 yun. Nandun yun sa plus. Positive times negative, negative. 11 times 19 is negative 209. So, we have positive 82 at saka 209. So, magkaiba sila ng sign. So, pag mamainasin natin sila, 209 minus 82. 209 minus 82. 127 pa. 282, it's 127. But since mas malaki si 209 at siya ay negative, negative siya. So that is negative 127. 
Okay po. Positive kasi yung 82, negative yung 209. Mas malaki si 209, magkaiba sila ng sign, so pinag-minus, at kukuha natin ng sign ng mas malaking number. So that's negative 209. Walang problema kasi kanina kasi dalawang positive. This time around, it's isang positive, isang negative. Positive 82 at negative 209, I think it's the basic uh, uh, algebra naman. Uh, kapag positive at negative ang pinag-add, pinag-minus natin yun, then copy the sign of the larger number. So our final answer is A sub 12 is negative 127. Okay, clear? Any question? Wala po. Wala. Wala naman What? po. Okay po. So in that case, let's continue. Okay. Okay. Next naman, um, there will be the next term, which is what we call arithmetic means. Ano yung arithmetic means? The terms between any two consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence are known to as arithmetic means. Example, if we are talking about 2 and 14, meron siyang isang arithmetic mean. Meron siyang arithmetic mean, isa lang, which is 8. Kasi nasa pagitan ng 2 at ng 14 ang 8. Okay? Kung pinag-usapan naman natin na 2, 8, 14, 20, 26 is an arithmetic sequence at ang gusto kong sabihin ay ang 2 at 20, titingnan ko ang 2, titingnan ko ang 20, this is 2, and this is 20, there are two arithmetic means between them, which is 8 and 14. Okay? Kapag ang gusto ko ng pag-usapan ay 2 at 26, may ilang arithmetic means sa gitna nila? 3. 3, which is 8, 14, and 20. Ngayon, kung doon tayo susunod na given, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30. How many arithmetic means are there between 50 and 35? Two po. There are two. Dalawa po. Ano yung dalawang yun? 45 and 44. 45 and 40. How about between 50 and 30? How many arithmetic means do we have? Three po. At lo, ano yun? 45, 40, and 35. Yung tatlong yun. Ngayon, paano kung sakasakali na um, nawala or hindi given ang, uh, hindi given ang uh, buong sitwasyon at ang sinabi lang, find two arithmetic means between 2 and 8. Find two arithmetic means between 2 and 8. Para makita natin ng ayos ang pinag-uusapan natin, it will be better kung isusulat natin siya in a sequence form. Okay. So ano yung first term natin? Yes, ano, yung, oh, ano yung last term natin? 8. Okay, How many arithmetic means between? Ang pinag-uusapan natin? May ilang arithmetic means raw? Na so, dalawa. dalawa. So maglalagay ako ng dalawang blanko sa pagitan nila. So the question now, how many terms do I have? Four. May ilang, may ilang four. terms ako? There are four. four. Yung two, yung blankong usa, yung blankong isa, at yung eight. So I have four. In this case, alam mo yung first term, alam mo yung last term, alam mo kung may, may ilan ka, pero ang hindi mo alam ay ano ang common difference. So, ganun pa rin yung gagamit, gagawin natin dito. Gagamitin pa rin natin yung formula natin dito para mahanap ang common difference. Kasi hindi natin alam kung ano yung natin sa 2 para mailagay yung blanko. At hindi natin alam, hindi natin malalagay yun hanggat hindi, pa, hindi natin malalagay yung pangatlo kung hindi natin alam kung ano idadagdag. ba? Diba? So, hanapin natin ang common difference. So, what is our A sub N? A sub N is the last term. Ano ang last term natin? Pang ilan si... Pang ilan si 8? Pang apat po. So I'll be writing this as A sub 4 equals 8. Tama? 
A sub 4. Kasi pang-apat ng 8. A sub 1 is... Ano, anong A sub 1? 2. How many terms do we have? 4. 4. Ano ang D natin? Yan ang nawawala ngayon. Ano ang D? Diba? Ano na D? So, tuloy natin ang formula. So, this is A sub 4 dun yun, which is 8, is equal to A sub 1 is 2. Plus 4, which is n, minus 1 times d. Diba? Yan ang magiging forma niyan. A, 8 equals 2 plus quantity 4 minus 1d. So continue ko muna. Solve ko muna yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. 2 plus 4 minus 1. 3. 3. Diba? Then D. Then that will be eight is equals to two plus three times D. What is three times? That will be three D. That's correct. Ngayon, kailangan ko mahanap ang D. Para mahanap ko yung D, dapat wala siyang katabi. Okay? Dapat wala siyang katabi. So ang una natin tatanggalin yung hindi niya katab, hindi niya ka katabi. As in yung hindi niya kapet. Tanggalin natin si 2 muna. Matatanggal natin si 2 by transposing. Itatranspose muna natin siya apunta sa kabila. Pero pag tinanspose, please take note na nababago ang sign niya. So that will become 8 minus 2 from positive 2 dahil inilipat natin siya ng posisyon, magiging minus 2 siya. 8 minus 2 equals positive 3D. Then 8 minus 2, that will become 6 equals 3D. Then, pwede na natin siyang i-divide. Divided by 3. So, what is D? D is equals to 6 divided by 3. 2. will be 2. So, ibig sabihin, our common difference is 2. So, pwede na tayo maglagay dito ng 2. 2. 2. Check na natin. 2 plus 2, 4. Plus 2, 6. Plus 2, 8. Correct. So our, pa, our common difference is 2. Ulitin ko lang paano nangyari ha, para clear tayo. So in-identify natin yung iba-ibang part nung una, which is the first, the last number is 8. At pang-apat siya, kaya siya A sub 4. Our first number is 2, kaya siya A sub 1. There are four terms and we're looking for our D. Um, using the formula, our A sub N is allow our last term that it happened to be 8. So 8 is equals to our first term is 2 plus the quantity N, which is 4, minus 1 times D. Sinolve muna natin ang 4 minus 1, so that is 3. We multiply 3 to D, so that is 3D. So ang naging formahan na natin doon is 8 equals 2 plus 3D. Pero dapat matanggal muna natin yung kapitbahay nila. Kasi yung, yung 3 at D, mag-asawa yan, tanggalin natin yung kapitbahay. Which is yung 2. Inilipat natin sa kabilang baryo. So that becomes 8 minus 2. Tandaan, once na ang number ay tumalon sa equal sign, magbabago siya ng sign. So from positive 2, naging negative 2 siya, equals 3D. So that's 8 minus 2 equals 6 equals 3D. Then I divide it 3 para matanggal yung katabi ng D. Okay? So that divide by 3. Kung anong dinivide natin sa isang side, didivide natin sa other side. So that's 6 divided by 3 is 2. So our common difference is 2. So by checking, tumama naman po tayo. Question. Question. Wala na po. Let's have another example para tayo maliwanag. Okay? How about this one? Find the missing numbers in the arithmetic sequence blank, blank, negative 13, blank, blank, negative 4, blank. Okay tayo. May first term tayo. May first term tayo. Wala. Wala. May last term tayo. 
Wala po. Wala po. Paano tayo magsosolve niyan? Eh, walang first term, walang last term. Ni hindi nga rin natin alam ang letter D. So, kailangan natin siyang gawa ng paraan. Paano po yon? Since this is a sequence, pwede muna akong magtanggal. Pwede muna akong pansamantalang magtanggal. Ibig sabihin, gagawa ko ng boundary. Ga- dahil nawawala ito, kalimutan ko muna may nawawala sa unahan at may nawawala sa likod. So, ang focus ko muna, itong part na ito. Yung negative 13, blank, blank, negative 4. So, ito na lang muna ang kailangan ko. Hatiin ko muna siya, kumuha ko ng parte. So, ngayon, may first term na ako. Meron na. Ano ang first term natin? Negative, negative 30. Correct. May last term ako? Opo, sir. Opo, sir. Ano ang last term ko? Negative. Negative 4. Ilang term ang ah, meron ako? Apat lang. Kasi ito lang pinag-uusapan natin eh. Kasi kinalimutan ko muna na may, nasa, may nawawala sa labas at may nawawala sa unhan. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, pwede na ako mag-solve. So, A sub 4, or yung pinakadulo ko, pansamantala, is negative 4. Ang A sub 1 ko ay... Negative 13. Negative 13. How many times do I have? Four. 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 And D is missing. Diba? D ay missing. Ayan. So, solve natin to. So, that will be negative four as our last term equals negative four equals anong first term natin? Negative 13 plus the quantity n, anong n natin? 4, 4 minus 1 times t. So that's negative 4 equals negative 13 plus 4 minus 1, 3, 3 times d. So that becomes negative 4 equals Negative 13, 3 times D. 3D po. 3D. That's positive 3D. So, tanggalin natin ang kapitbahay niya, which is negative 13. Ano mayayari kay negative 13? Nagiging positive 13 po. Yes, that's correct. Nagiging positive na siya kasi tatalon siya ng equal sign. Equals 3D. Negative 4 plus 13. Positive 9. Positive 9, that's correct. Positive 9 equals 3D. Then divide natin. So D equals 3D po. Ay, 3 pala. 3. 3. So we have positive 3. Positive 3. So plus nga natin. Negative 13 plus positive 3. Negative 10 po. Negative, Negative 10. 10. That's correct. Kuha siyang mm, ano. Pero dahil positive at negative, nagagawa natin po. Nagmaminus tayo. So plus positive 3. Negative, Negative 7. 7. Negative 7. Check natin kung tatama. Plus positive 3. Negative 4. Tama. So pwede na tayo mag-continue ngayon. What is positive 3? Negative 4 plus positive 3. Negative 1. So dito, may positive din to. Positive 3 at may positive 3 lang dito. So para lang, ma- dahil paunahan tayo, baguhin mo lang yung sign. Anong number? Ang dadagdagan mo ng positive 3 para maging negative 13. Anong number? Ang dadagdagan mo ng positive 3 para maging negative 13. Negative 16. Negative 16. Correct. Negative 16 plus 3 is negative 13. Ngayon naman, ano naman ang datagdagan mo ng positive 3 para maging negative 16? Anong number yon? Negative 19. Negative 19 plus 3 is negative 16. Now, kompleto na siya. Okay po. So, hindi tayo na problema in terms of wala tayong unahan at walang dulo. Kasi, Pwede yung gawin natin na kumuha, mo lang, kumuha lang tayo ng parte. 
at pwede natin isolve. Okay po? Since it is a sequence. Okay? Clear po tayo doon? Question? Opo. Yes, sir. Yan. So, hoping na maliwanag po yon. So, ito po yung mga gagawin na natin. Okay po, mga gagawin niyo po. Okay, we have your learning task 1. Okay, so kailangan niya lang pong sagutin ang uh, tinatanong, what is the next shape? What is the next shape? Yan po, ilalagay natin dyan. Yan. Then, uh, sagot lang. Next, learning task 2 on page 10. Which is, kailangan nyo pong, for letter A, kailangan nyo lang i-identify whether it's arithmetic or not. Okay po, tandaan. Tingnan mo muna kung arithmetic siya o hindi. Kapag ar pag, uh, arithmetic, kapag hindi siya arithmetic, lalagyan mo siya ng not arithmetic. Kapag arithmetic siya, lalagyan mo siya ng yeah, uh, arithmetic. Pero ilalagay mo rin ang common difference niya at yung tatlong term na kasunod. Maliwanag po tayo doon sa learning, learning task A. Una, ulitin ko ha, check nyo muna kung arithmetic siya, sequence o hindi. Kung nadadagdagan ba siya ng constant number. Kapag hindi, ilalagay mo not arithmetic. Pag, pag, tum, pag arithmetic naman siya, arithmetic ang isusulat natin. Pero hindi lang arithmetic. Isusulat rin natin ano yung common difference niya at ano yung tatlong sunod-sunod na number na kasunod ng number na yon, Okay? Example. Okay, example ako ha. Um, example given is 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Dot, dot, dot. Is that arithmetic or not? Arithmetic. So lalagay mo arithmetic. So let mo yan, arithmetic. Pero pag nasulat mo yung arithmetic, comma, ano yung common difference nila? One po. One. Sunod. Ano yung kasunod ng three na tatlo pang number? Four, five, six. Po. Then four, five, at six. So ibig sabihin, kapag arithmetic siya, may lima akong chechekan. Yung arithmetic, yung number, at saka yung tatlong kasunod. Pero kung nakalagay naman two, six, 7, 10. 2, 6, Is that arithmetic or not arithmetic? Not arithmetic. Not arithmetic. Kasi from 2 to 6, nag plus 4 tayo, bas nag plus 1 siya, bas nag plus 3 siya. So hindi, cons cons uh, hindi siya consistent. So ilalagay mo lang, not arithmetic. Tapos, not arithmetic. Clear. Next, for letter B naman, ang hinahanap ay um, specific number. So, given 2, 4, 6, what is the 15th term? So, solve. So, solve natin yan. So, kailangan ko sa letter B ng inyo pong computation. Okay po? Computation for letter B is very important. And letter C, Insert four arithmetic means between. So, yun nga po yung arithmetic means natin na gitna. So, kailangan nyo pong makapakita ang solution at saka po yung ano yung apat, ano yung mga arithmetic means na nawawala. Katulad po yung negative 1 and 14, sabi may four arithmetic twins. So, makikita ko dapat negative 1, blank, 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 14. Then, so for D, kailangan ko makita yung D. Then, ano yung lalagyan nyo yung laman yung mga blanko? Clear po tayo? Clear po? Yes po. So, so kailangan, ko ng, oh. kailangan ko po ng computation sa letter B at letter C. Pag walang computation, hindi po ko siya considered as talito tama. Okay? Well, hindi ko po siya ipoconsidered na tama. Sige po. Clear po tayo dyan. Okay po. So, hoping na naging maliwanag po ang uh, ating pong discussion. Any questions so far? None, sir. 
Okay po. Can I request first to open your camera for picture taking lang for attendance? So open po ng camera natin. Stop na po ako ng recording. Thank you very much. 